Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, uh, the 100 kg crate is subjected to the forces shown. If initially or originally at rest, determine the distance it slides in order to attain a speed of 8 meters per second. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface is mu k equal to 0 0.2. This problem is coming from the engineering mechanics and dynamics of 14th edition by RC Ibella. So in this particular problem, we're going to use the principle of energy and work or work and energy. Let's draw the free body diagram. So we'll have a component in that direction like so, and another one there in that direction like so. Then here we'll have a component like so, okay, and another one like so, right? Then we'll have the weight of the box like so and we'll have the normal force like so and we'll have friction okay opposing the direction of motion like so so let's label this so this is w which is just equal to mg that's w and this is equal to mg right and this is 400 sine 30 this is 400 cos 30 this is the normal force and this is the kinetic friction which is equal to mu k n um, this is 500 sine 45 this is 500 cos 45 let me make mention of some forces that will not do any work uh, no displacement for w 400 sine 30 uh, 500 sine 45 and n hence no work done and then if we have force in the same direction with displacement and we call this positive work and if you have force in the opposite direction with displacement then we we'll call this as our negative work so this is the convention okay right so the initial kinetic energy plus the total work from point one to point two is equal to the final uh, kinetic energy uh, so we do have B1 equal to 0 because this is at rest, at rest, and then S1 is also equal to 0, and B2 is equal to 8, S2 is what we are looking for, right? Right. Um... So let's start with finding friction. So say summation of forces in the y equal to m a y. Of course, we do not have any acceleration. This is equal to zero in the y direction. And then we do have uh, n plus plus 500 sine 45. Uh, minus W which is mg minus 400 sine 4 sine 30 equal to 0 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 therefore our n is just going to be equal to 100 by 9.81 uh, plus 400 sine 30 
minus 500 sine 45 and this gives us 100 by 9.81 plus 400 sine 30 minus 500 sine 45 this gives us 827.44 Six six four hundred by nine point eight one plus four hundred sine thirteen minus five hundred sine forty five eight twenty seven point four four six six. The friction is equal to mu k n, and this is equal to point two times eight twenty seven point four four six six right so back to this equation uh, k1 k k k k e1 which is the initial kinetic energy is equal to half m v1 squared and this is equal to have 100 there and b1 is equal to zero therefore this is just equal to zero k2 okay also half m v2 squared okay we have the same mass uh, but there we go a different value of velocity and this gives us as a 50 by 8 squared so this is a 3200 and then the total work from point 1 to 2 so we do have here two forces okay so uh, the first one is positive so s1 is 0 to s2 which is unknown and then we do have a 400 cos 30 plus 500 cos 45 the ds then we are saying plus no minus integral from 0 to s uh, fk which is just point zero two by 827.4466 ds ds okay so the total work is just going to be equal to a 400 cos 13 plus 500 cos 45 so this gives us a 6 a 699 a 699.5 nine six three six s and minus we can sum these together right mm -hmm. let's sum them together okay so we'll say minus point two by eight two seven one four four six six Right, so we have a five thirty four point four seven four two S. All right, so now let's apply uh, the whole equation. So we have. K, KE1 plus 
summation of total work equal to ke2 is 0 plus 534.4742 s equal to 3200 s therefore is equal to 3200 divided by 534.4742 therefore s is just going to be equal to uh, 3200 by 534 534.4742 and this is equal to 5.9 nine uh, meters therefore s2 is just equal to five point okay five point nine nine meters right i think this is about it this is about it we have found uh, the distance that the box should slide in order to attain a speed of v equal to 8 meters per second. I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye bye and see you in my next screencast.